Another malignancy that's associated with asbestos exposure is lung cancer. Cancer of the lung that's caused by asbestos is of the same type as is caused by cigarette smoking. It occurs in any area of the lung. And again, there is a long latency period between the onset of exposure to asbestos and the time that an asbestos-associated lung cancer becomes clinically detectable. On average, we are talking about 25 to 30 years from the onset of exposure to asbestos, although cases may occur earlier. There is a clear relationship between the risk of lung cancer and smoking among asbestos-exposed workers. Smoking in and of itself carries a risk of lung cancer. Asbestos alone, even in the absence of cigarette smoking, carries an increased risk of lung cancer. But the combination of cigarette smoking and asbestos exposure markedly increases that risk. That's why we advise any patient who has been exposed to asbestos who still smokes to stop smoking immediately. The risk of lung cancer begins to decrease the day you stop smoking. And while you cannot remove the risk of lung cancer that results from your asbestos exposure, it's important to stop smoking if, in fact, you're still smoking.